In between James Bond pictures, Pierce Brosnan found the time to star in this big budget adventure film by director Roger Donaldson, which was released in February of 1997. The PG-13 rated spectacle was produced on a budget of $116 million, and it managed to earn back $178 million, but that was unfortunately bested later that year by another volcano-based picture. The 109-minute story follows Brosnan as a volcanologist who was deployed to a small mountain town to investigate the possibility of an impending eruption. And spoiler alert, it does. As expected, Pierce is up to the task as the concerned yet heroic scientist who remarks on his own shortcomings, I've always been better at feeling out volcanoes than people in politics. He also exhibits a charming romantic side opposite the headstrong and always capable Linda Hamilton. Elizabeth Hoffman, Charles Hallahan, and a few other familiar faces round out the supporting cast with somewhat believable performances, at least once you consider the hectic environment they find themselves in. Rachel, Ruth, come on, we gotta go. You got everything? Okay, children, let's go. As the elderly grandmother, however, Hoffman is particularly annoying in how dumb and stubborn her decisions are, opting to leap into a boiling lake for no other reason than to burn alive in the water. Following an intense opening prologue that sees our hero's car driving through practically every obstacle, the movie settles into a tired narrative where none of the townsfolk take the experts seriously. After what seems like forever, the slow romantic story finally steps aside to allow the action to begin in earnest. This second half is what saves the disaster film from being, well, a disaster. The events that unfold remain somewhat scientifically accurate, but are no less ridiculous. And of course, the family dog manages to survive everything. This was the 90s after all. James Newton Howard's bombastic score sets a strong undercurrent for the picture's constantly building tension. The combination of practical effects, impressive model work, and computer imagery results in some truly horrific and effective visuals. But repeated use of obviously faked window reflections were unnecessary and frequently took me out of the moment. Filmed on location in Wallace, Idaho, which stands in for the fictional town of Dante's Peak, Donaldson fills the wide Super 35 frame with beautiful shots of the Pacific Northwest. A bit more serious than its 1997 counterpart, Volcano, this picture suffers from its lack of action, but when you get past the slow start and predictable plot points, it provides for some exciting drama set against a pseudo-scientific catastrophic backdrop. For fans of Pierce Brosnan or the disaster genre, Dante's Peak highlights a fascinating disaster with believable excitement. I thought it was pretty cool.